as quoted on one of the great rappers of all time. If you only had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything that you've ever wanted for that moment, would you capture that or let it slip? Cue the intro. <laughs> First, uh, FIFA World Cup video vlogs. Wow, so yeah, this is a huge moment in the making right here. Um, I'm going to be doing this uh, throughout the entirety of the month. Uh, so yeah, um, by the way, I'm not sounding too enthusiastic here. There we go. Now I've got the right calculation of the word out. Okay. Um, before I do start the match, I want to talk about my FIFA World Cup group predictions going into the World Cup because uh, I didn't really well in my mind I didn't really thought that I wanted to do uh, the World Cup predictions because uh, I mean there's a lot of stages really to go through you got group stages you got knockouts which are uh, two groups um, well, more than two groups that are um, going to face each other, either who's on top and who's on second. So it was kind of uh, like a lot of time for me to process that, really. But now I can go through them as I go along the list here because now I have it. Um, so I'll give it to you now. Um, okay. For Group A, we've got Russia, Saudi Arabia, who are playing today, so I'll definitely be reacting to that uh, uh, shortly. The time is right now, um, on this recording, is 3.09pm. So, the match doesn't start until 40 minutes. Now it's 3.10. So 40 minutes at best now. Okay. So I'll go for the rest now. Russia, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Uruguay. Okay. In first place, I'm going to say... Um, Uruguay. Uh, because uh, Luis Suarez, Cavani, uh, them two are an absolute pack, pack of wolves to be, be in the squads, and uh, yeah, I'd, I'd see them taking them into the uh, the uh, the top of the group in Group A, and in and in second place, uh, I'm going to say Egypt because the uh, the god himself, Mo Salah. Um, we'll take them. We'll, we'll, we'll take them probably a little further than what most fans have expected. But I'd say uh, knockout stage for them at best. Knockout at best. And in third, I'm going to say Russia, fourth, Saudi Arabia. Group B Portugal, 
Spain, Morocco, Iran. In first place, I'm going to say Portugal. Yes, I'm going to go for Portugal. Because look at Spain and what they did four years ago. Four years ago was like one of the worst forms that 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 I that I have seen Spain put in a World Cup performance. They they got out or they got out like losing to Holland, losing to oh, who did they get beat next? Was it? I want to say Costa Rica, but I don't think they did. Oh, I was just literally watching the goals as well a few hours ago. Oh, God. But anyways, um, but first one is Portugal, and second is uh, Spain. Yes, I think Spain are going to be in the knockout stage this year. Uh, third place, Morocco. Fourth place, Iran. Group C, we got France, Australia, Peru, and Denmark. In first place, I'm going to go for France, definitely, because uh, and they are amongst one of the favourites to win uh, this year's World Cup. Because uh, Antoine Griezmann, uh, Paul Pogba, um, I don't think they've got Komen in their side for this year's World Cup. I can't believe they haven't got Komen. Why could why haven't they got Komen? He's like one of the fastest players that for the French side. I don't know why they haven't got him. They do have uh Hugo, of course. Uh Sagna um Ribery, uh, wait, he is, yeah, he's French, yeah, <laughs> I was beginning to question him, um, Benzema, Benzema, of course, Benzema, one of the prolific goal scorers for France, uh, so yeah, first place, France, second, Denmark, because uh, uh, Christian Eriksen, um, for them, is uh, one of the best Denmark players that I've seen, really. So, and he's one of their prolific goal scorers uh, in their side. So, first France, second Denmark. In third, Australia. Fourth, Peru. Group D. Argentina, Iceland, Croatia... And Nigeria. In first place, I am going to say Argentina because uh, now they have got um, a good amount of squad. Uh, it's especially Lionel Messi, of course, one of the best players in the world. Um, and. Uh, a top goal scorer in La Liga, yeah, I should say. Uh, of course, you got um, Agal Di Maria as well. Um, yeah, Agal, Agal Di Maria is like one of the one of the great tactical players uh, for Argentina who can uh, slot slot goals in. Uh, so yeah. Other than Argentina, in second, I'm going to say Croatia. Yes, Croatia are going to be in second. In third place, uh, I think Iceland. And in fourth, Nigeria. Group E. we got Brazil, Switzerland, Costa Rica and Serbia. In first place, I'm going to say definitely is Brazil. Uh, of course, we can't forget about their humiliation in the semi-finals, what they did against Germany. Uh, so let's hope they don't suffer another humiliation going into this year's World Cup. Uh, for, for what results 
uh, go into them. So yeah, in first, pl and they're and they're amongst one of the favourites again to win the World Cup. As so as the bookies say. So in first, I'm going to say Brazil. Second, I am going to say Switzerland. Yes, I think Switzerland is going to be in second. In third, ooh, this is going to be a little tough one. In third, I'm going to say Costa Rica is going to be in third. And fourth, Serbia. Group F, the reigning, defending champions of the World Cup. I'm saying that like Paul Heyman now. <laughs> the reigning, defending, undisputed FIFA World Cup champions, Germany! Now sound like Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> okay, in Group F, we got the reigning champions, Germany, Mexico, Sweden, and Korea Republic. Uh, okay, definitely in first place, I am going to say Germany, because how can you not put the almighty Germans in first place? Because, wow. The, the team that they've got, if, wow, Goethe, Royce. Although, I don't think Royce is in this World Cup. What? Um, yeah, freshly, freshly blood. German side. Yeah, Neuer, of course. Um, yeah, the brilliant side, brilliant side. So, how can you not put him in first place? So, first is Germany. Second is... Mm, Mexico. I was going to say Sweden, but they don't have Slatan. <laughs> uh, so second, I'm going to say Mexico. In third, I'm going to say is Sweden. Fourth, Korea Republic. Group G. For this group, we have Belgium. Hello. Okay, as I was saying. Group G. We have Belgium. Panama, Tunisia, and England. Let me turn this down because I don't think you'll be able to hear me. And also I'm a little tired because I just woke up from my hour rest. <laughs> um, so Belgium, Panama, Tunisia, and England in Group G. Um, I want to have a little optimism for England since we do have a young squad in our side uh, but I want to say first place but I don't think um, uh, they have enough to take it to first place really for, um, for, the, for the amount of experience that they have I don't think no, I don't think they'll reach it into first place so in first place I'm going to say Belgium. Belgium have got a really good Premier League side, as as you should say, because there's a lot of Premier League players there, like Lukaku, Vertonghen, uh, Courtois, <laughs> uh, Fellaini. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Yanazai. Yeah. A lot of Belgian players. <laughs> so in first place, I'm going to say Belgium. Second place, England. England are going to be in second. Uh, so that means we will have to face... Uh, which means we have to face... Yeah, in Group H, which I'll get on to that um, very shortly. In third place, I'm going to say Tunisia. Fourth place, Panama. For their first ever World Cup. Group H now. So. Whoever's in first gets to face Belgium. Whoever's in second gets to face England. In the knockout stage. So in Group H. We have Poland. Senegal. Colombia. Japan. 
Hmm. In first place, now I'm going to say, and I don't think it will be a surprise. In first place, I am going to say Poland. I'm going to say Poland is going to be in second. But wait, no, Poland in first uh, because of uh, we got Lewandowski and Jacob Jacob uh, Blagowski. Uh, yeah, he is Polish. I have checked. And uh, his name. <laughs> so I think they're going to be in first. Uh, second is Colombia because uh, they have one of the most prolific goals. Goal scorers there, which is James Rodriguez, the Colombian. Uh, so th I think they'll be in second. In third, um, I'm going to say Japan. And in fourth, Senegal. Um, so, that means in first place, which is Poland, and in first place, Belgium, them two will face off against each other in the knockouts. For England, they go into the uh, knockouts in second place against second place in Group H, which is Colombia. Mm -mm -mm. That... that that is interesting, that is interesting, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I would say I'm happy w with, um, if we do face, e well, either Colombia or Poland, but I probably much deserve Colombia, really, um, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I just pretty much fancy, uh, Colombia. Uh, so yeah, that is my World Cup group predictions. Uh, but yeah, as of now, I am watching preparations for the World Cup, like interviews. They did one with Raheem Sterling and um, recaps of what happened four years ago and that, and uh, interviews with former managers and yeah stuff. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna grab a drink now. So I will show you what I've got in the fridge. And now we've reached the fridge area. So, what we have here is one, two, three, four iron brew cans. One, two, three Dr. Pepper cans. And I think that was one that I mentioned as well for the fourth one, so yeah, I think I've got four iron brew cans and there's also three Dr. Pepper cans. So we're having them throughout the duration of the World Cup. I think there'll be more to come throughout the month, so, uh, uh, so yeah, I think there's going to be like more shopping and stuff to be delivered throughout the month, so it's not going to be only these. Okay, I filled out my drink. It is an Iron Brew, nearly two pint lager <laughs> uh, <laughs> container ruby. Um, Traveller Cup. Um, so yeah, you can see the line is right here where it is. So yeah, that is a pretty big cup for me to drink throughout the game. So yes, but as you can see now, the open ceremony has start and it's good old, good old Robbie Williams to kick off. The Russian open opening ceremony. I'm sorry, I'm not speaking in, in a in a normal English accent because I am still tired from my hours rest, and I promise I will get better as we go on into this vlog. But given that it's my first vlog of the FIFA World Cup, then. Uh, yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta forgive me, really. Tell me what for, wherever it may take me, I know the life won't break me, when I'm come to call, she won't forsake me. And the rest of the countries are now out on the field. Russia, Saudi Arabia, Uruguay, Australia, Costa Rica, Iran. 
countries are now coming by one by one, raising their flags. Okay, first match is about to begin between Russia, the host leaders, and Saudi Arabia. Um, I have seen their lineup for this match coming up. I think they've both gone for a 4 4 2 formation. Although I think Russia has got a player just in the up outfield than the one below it. But although it's still a 4 4 2 formation. And here we go! The players are coming out. They're going to get their national anthems sing for their respective countries. And. Yeah. We can then start our first official FIFA World Cup reaction. We're about to get started with our first match. The teams have done with their national anthems. Uh, they're now going to go to their respected lanes uh, for the start up of this match. Just looking at the lineups here for Russia and Saudi Arabia, that's on my screen now. Um, I do recognise a couple of them, like Yuri Zerikov. Um, I think he was a former a Chelsea player back in the day, um, a few years ago. Um, I don't know if he played for Liverpool, unless he was a Liverpool player. Um, yeah, my uh, my research football knowledge is uh, not that accurate, but yeah. But anyways, uh, the first official FIFA World Cup match it's about to start. Saudi Arabia is gonna kick off this FIFA World Cup campaign for the first FIFA World Cup match. Here comes the countdown. The monthly FIFA World Cup tournament has now begun. Kickoff has now started. Saudi Arabia now kicks the ball towards Russia's half. And Saudi Arabia Looks like they're about to begin their attack. Russia now have got a penalty. It's been crossed. One of the Saudi Arabian players heads it away. Out of danger. Saudi Arabia now. Beginning to process their attack. Unless, oh no, that back pass. They still got it though. Okay. Shoots, oh no, blocked. Russia now. Oh, they get into a tight there, Renda. Oh no, it's been blocked. Oh. Russia did have a shot, but it like scuffed it, but it did manage to hit a Saudi Arabia player. 11 minutes has played. Yeah, it scoffed it. Yeah, scoffed it. And goes for a corner. Alright, corner Russia. Have to take it. He oh, I thought he had it though. That is a good ball. That is a good ball and that is a good goal. What a goal to set that up. 1-0 to the Russians. What a goal. What a goal to set that up. 
Just crosses it in the centre of the box. Miles onside. And that player for Russia. I know I keep saying that player, and that player, and that player. I'm sorry, I don't know most of the players' names. But the way he just set that up to give it to him. Here we go. Uh, Gre Grzynski. Yuri Grzynski. Okay, Yuri Grzynski's uh, headed shot. Pure class. Pure class. So yeah, 1-0 to the Russians. Russia, Russia, begin their attack again. Oh! Good save. Oh. 15 minutes have played. Russia nearly had a second. Russian player, sorry, a Russian player in the left hand side, in the left hand side, um, he was in, he was in an offside position. Um, he delivers, he delivers it to him on the left hand side, um, cross passes it, uh, one of the Russian players like just, uh, takes a toe nick to it, uh, which deflects off a Saudi Arabia player, goes up, goalkeeper from Saudi Arabia, uh, manages to uh, push it away and um, yeah it stopped play after that Pff, wow yeah it's been Russia's game as expected it's been Russia's game Saudi Arabia now on the attack. Oh my god. Oh. There's a corner. Corner. I think that's their first real threat into the game. Saudi Arabia. 20 minutes have played. Saudi Arabia gets a corner. <clears throat> Referee just um, giving instructions. Here we go, taking the go. Oh, that was a rubbish corner. What was that? Crosses it. Goes for a shot. And another corner. Another corner, Saudi Arabia. Sixteen out of eighteen goals in World Cup qualifying matches. Saudi Arabia's leading man. All right, that corner didn't work again, and now Russia are all beginning their counter attack. Oh, he, one of the Russian players pulls up, injured. Looks like cramp. It looks like cramp. Now game has stopped playing. Oh! It's 2-0 Russia! It was coming all along. 42 minutes I've played in the game. Russia are now 2-0 up. Thanks to, is it the same? No. <clears throat> no, it wasn't the same player. But let's have a look at the replay again. Get in their counter attack. Few passes. The, the Saudi Arabia defences was terrible to get that away. There was literally one, two, three. You had their entire back four trying to defend. You had the entire back four, even two players, trying to slide tackle one player. Didn't even connect to him. But that was a good goal to connect to. That was a good goal. That was a good goal in the top corner. 2-0 Russia. Excuse me. <laughs> 
Okay, now the fourth official has stated that there will be two minutes added time. We've now reached a 45 minute period into the game. Um, yeah, Russia looks like they could have been 3 0 up because I think there was a penalty spot that they could have gotten. Um, and then there was another goal threat. Uh, before they got the second goal, so they should have been 3 0 up, really. Um, I know I've got this earphone in as well because I'm listening to Stunt Pug uh, doing her commentary throughout this game as well. And now it's half time 2 0 Russia, 45 minutes. It's half time now. So yeah, half time in Moscow, or Mokka, as um, as the Russians call Moscow. Interesting fact. I, pro I probably might do these facts um, um, in half time, but I'm not so sure. I, I haven't really scheduled to like do this kind of part really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, two no Russia could have been more. Um, yeah, it looks like it could be Russia's game, unless Saudi Arabia's got something up their sleeves. So yeah, onward to the second half. Hold up, let me mute this for a second. Alright, second half is about to begin. The Russian players are just about to head out to the field. Uh, can't see any Saudi Arabia players yet, um, inbound. Um... Yeah, I gave my half-time analysis, didn't I? But if I didn't, then um, Russia so far have been a deadly uh, strike force, really, for about 45 minutes. Um, I think they've got a good corner set-piece taker uh, that set it up for the first goal, which is Yuri Surikov, um, who used to play for Chelsea, of course. Um... Although he didn't set up the goal, he was another Russia player, which I don't know most of the uh, players' names for either Russia or Saudi Arabia, so apologies for not knowing my football knowledge behalf on those countries. Uh, <laughs> but um, what I do know is that I do know most of the team's uh, crests and their icons. So, yeah. Uh, so now, so yeah, now we're about to begin uh, the second half. The Saudi Arabia players are now beginning to walk out on the field, and I am now listening to Selena Gomez back to you because it is an ace song. It's ace. <laughs> but yeah, let's begin the second half. All right, corner to Russia. Also, this Osama player for Saudi Arabia, he's a bit, um, he's a bit deadly, isn't he? He's kind of like a, I wouldn't say like Sergio Ramos, because Sergio Ramos is the most deadly defender of them all. But yeah, Osama is a bit of a, of a risky taker, you know? Like, uh, you see a Russian player get too close to the, uh, like the center, the center of the box. And then Osama was just like uh, get his foot like near uh, one of the players' legs instead of the ball, because I don't think he's trying to get the ball. <clears throat> right? Uh, yeah, Saudi Arabia got the ball out, and uh, yeah, and, and now Russia's got the ball back to the goalie, and now they're continuing their uh, plan of attack now. So. Ooh. Good attempt. Good attempt from uh, Sandoff. Number 19, I think. Uh, it said on the back of his shirt. So, good attempt, but got it blazed wide, just about. 51 minutes of played, still 2 0. Not too bad. Saudi Arabia had the free kick. Uh, 58 minutes have now been played. Saudi Arabia looking for a set piece for a free kick. Uh, <clears throat> when Saudi Arabia delivers it 
uh, to the centre of the box, um, got ahead to it, just went over it, but um, weren't, weren't far though, weren't far, it was um, quite close, but uh, it was a good effort nonetheless. So yeah, 58 minutes have played, still 2-0 Russia. 3-0 Russia, three definite points are going to Russia. Yeah. I didn't see the goal though, because I was too busy on Facebook. Uh, see, so crossed it. Oh, okay. Crosses it inside a uh, goalkeeper's box. And I um, think one of their strikers uh, heads it close towards. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Uh, the bottom right hand side of the goal which makes it 3-0 Russia look at him <laughs> the Russian president and the Saudi Arabian president <laughs> like what can you say <laughs> what can you say except it's 3-0 <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what Putin saying to the Saudi Arabian president. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, uh, I, 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 I bet. I, <laughs> yeah, just, I, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> All right. So, uh, 72 minutes have played. Three 0 Russia now. The fourth official has indicated, um, and it's reached the 90th minute. That there will be three minutes added time. Still three now, so it's definitely looking like a Russia's win for the hosts. Um, yeah, Saudi Arabia just, just not put much, not much effort. But oh my God! 4 0 Russia. What a goal! To... Oh my god! <laughs> As I was saying, Saudi Arabia's. Um, just, just, just the squad has just had not much of an effort. Not, had not much of an effort, really, throughout first and second half. Although they did pull a couple of chances, but. Um, they weren't that critical. What a goal! Look at the elevation of the fourth goal! Wow! Take a bow, that Russian man. You! You there! Take a bow. Dennis Chifs... Chifs... Dennis Chifsky. I think his name is... Dennis Chifsky? Chif... Chif... Chivosky? Chif... Chif yeah, Dennis. I'll just call him Dennis. Dennis scored. <laughs> Dennis the Menace. Oh, I, I think I'm going to be doing these like uh, other references puns throughout the month. But yeah, uh, I think it's definitely going to. Yeah, we're in the 92nd minute now. There's only one minute left to play, and I think so far that has been my favourite World Cup goal. Um, Throughout 2018. Wow. And he was also the one who assisted the goal as well. So I think he's going to get man of the match. Dennis. Are they going to make it five? Have they got a foul? Yes, they have. Free kick, Russia. The yellow card has been brought out to uh, Tassia, the Saudi Arabian player. Oh, yeah. Can they make it five? Is it going to be 5-0 to Russia on the opening game of the World Cup? We're going to find out. 
We're about to take this free kick now. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Five nil to the Russians. <laughs> I knew he would score. I knew he, he would score. It wasn't. Actually, that was a good curling effort towards the goal. Yeah, that is a good. That is a good goal, actually. Look at Putin now. He's like. Where's all of this coming from? <laughs> and that's it. That's it, wow. What an opening game that was. What a total, what a total domination that has happened throughout three minutes. Just two goals that have proven some special moments there. Wow. That was amazing. That was amazing. Those uh, two goals and uh, the goal as well from the the first half. I consider that as well for, to be a good goal, especially from that assist. So yes, um, that is it. It has finished. Russia five, Saudi Arabia nil. So now Russia will sit in top of the group. Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, rock bottom. And judging by their performance, I don't think they're going to get any points from how they've played. Jeez. They they have got to act up. I, I don't know how, but they've got to act. And they have got to act now. They've got two games left and they've got to act. I mean, seriously, come on. Come on, when you're in this type of situation, you have got to act up. You have got to change your tactics and you've got to change your moral role. So yes, uh, I think I'm going to conclude it there. That has been my opening game reaction to uh, the FIFA World Cup. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy it, and there's going to be plenty more uh, reactions to come, uh, especially tomorrow, I'm going to be reacting to three more games. Um, all in one video, of course. So, if you did enjoy my reaction, hit the like button down below. And if you are new around to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications bell for more updates for when I upload the next video. And comment down below on what you think about the World Cup and who do you think is going to win the World Cup. Let me know. And, uh, yeah. Please like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.